the Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. And just telling your story so that it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like Mission Impossible? Then Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show at this time every week with a tip to help you tell your story. Welcome back, Jerry. Thank you. It's good to be here. All right. So what's our storytelling tip this week? Your storytelling tip this week is to turn your story into an Indiana Jones movie. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. That sounds really cool, but... Right? Um, uh, most stories that I read, Jerry, you know, what, are not cool. Snakes. Uh, well, uh, but that's the point. I mean, it, you know, if you go back to the old uh, Indiana Jones movies, you know, you, you, what happens is that right as soon as the action starts, it just uh, whatever's happening in you know, Indiana Jones or the woman that's following him around the movie or somebody that he cares about is about to. I mean, this is the time they're going to buy it. And just in the nick of time, something happens and he escapes and you think you can sit back and relax and take a deep breath, but you're already into that next. This is the one that's going to get him right. peril. And it just goes on like that over and over in the movie. And you never really get to take a deep breath because they keep reengaging your interest. So you recommend that we put a lot of drama into our story? Well, that you find a way to reengage your audience at least every 10 minutes if you're giving a presentation. And... I've been reading this book, I think I mentioned it the last time I was here, called Brain Rules. It's by a guy by the name of John Medina. And he is a college professor, among other things, and he breaks his college uh, lectures into 10-minute segments. Now, you, you wouldn't know that if you're wi doing them, I and they look right. continuous. But he finds a way every 10 minutes in his 50-minute lectures to, to make sure that he reengages the interest of his uh, students by doing something that's going to grab their attention and pull them back because he knows that after 10 minutes he's going to lose them no matter what. Right, because we get bored, we check out, we start daydreaming, we're not really engaged. Our, we glaze over, right. I'm thinking about my shopping list, things yeah, i got to do. Exactly. You know, if, and, 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 and you know, if you think about it, if you've ever ridden a roller coaster, I mean, every roller coaster I've ever been on, it starts with this sort of, at least for me, this tension field sort of climb up to that first big drop, mm -hmm. right? And and you know what's coming, and sure enough, boy, as soon as you go over, you're just heading straight down, and your stomach's going up toward your forehead, and your heart starts, uh, your heart rate goes way up. And then the ride's going to last for a few more minutes, but if that were the, if that were all the excitement, I mean, it'd be a right. pretty boring ride from that point on, and you have a lot of people complaining. So that's, you know, every, every few seconds in that ride you're going to get something new to get your heart going and that's kind of what medina suggests you do a version of that if you're going to be making a presentation and i happen to agree with him is that you know our brains do not scientists will tell you our brains do not pay attention to boring things and so that means that if you're being boring your audience is not going to be paying attention to you and if you've got this great opening that grabs our attention right in front, but that's all you've got, right? at some point our butts may still be in our seats, but our minds are going to be somewhere else. <laughs> you know, Jerry, uh, I'll even back this up with a little science, uh, because as a public speaker, I learned years and years ago that for every year of a person's age, their attention span equals about 30 seconds. So you go to an 18-year-old college kid, that's nine minutes of attention span, and you're going into nine to 10 to 11 minutes total for anybody in college, and frankly, we don't learn much past the college years anyways. And, and so uh, it stands to reason, if you are changing the dynamic, shifting the gears uh, every 10 minutes, you're making a, a, a big connection back into your audience. Yeah, well, Medina says there actually is research that says that no audience is going to pay attention for more than 10 minutes without somehow or other Agree. being re-engaged, you know. And um, he also talks about the fact that, you know, the more emotions are stronger. We, we remember things that are emotional or that, that are startling or unusual. And we're just hardwired to remember those things um, more than we are things that, that just kind of go along on a flat plateau. And so the more senses that you can engage in telling your story... And if you can find a way to engage your audience's emotions or interest, you know, and one way to do that, now he also makes the point uh, that that doesn't mean that you want to every 10 minutes change to a new topic. 
No, no. It, because then it's going to feel disjointed. You basically have to just find a way to pull us back in. All there. right. So if you are boring, you need to turn your story into an Indiana Jones movie. That's a dun, great, dun, dun, great dun. tip from Jerry Brown for an article about today's storytelling tip that you hear on the Experience Press Radio Show. Go to Jerry's blog at jerrybrownpr.com. You also find an archive of all the storytelling tip storytelling tips that Jerry shares here on the Experience Press Radio Show at his website jerrybrownpr.com. You know, the late journalist, screenwriter, and Denver native Gene Fowler once said, writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry. Hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR to help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. Plus, Jerry can help you edit what you've already written. Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com. You can reach Jerry at Jerry at JerryBrownPR.com or by phone at 303-594-8016. That's 303-594-8016. The experienced pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit ExperiencePros.com.